Hello, how are you? Today we would like to give you some guidance on how to make an informed decision about whether or not to have cataract surgery. Of course, our purpose is not to question the indications for surgery for the sake of it. On the contrary, we want to enrich the conversation with the doctor. A better understanding of the options helps to make a better choice, especially because you can speak with knowledge and therefore in a more helpful way. Think of an older person who is diagnosed with cataracts. The options are to have surgery immediately, or to wait until the poor vision is severe enough to be bothersome and increasingly dangerous. But what are we talking about? A cataract is a clouding of the lens of the eye that makes vision difficult. The lens is behind the colored part of the eye, the iris, and its function is to focus light at the back, on the retina. Not all cataracts need to be removed. It depends on the degree to which your vision is affected. Many people cope very well without the need for glasses or contact lenses. The poor vision caused by cataracts slowly worsens over time, so there is probably no reason to have surgery right away. Most people who have surgery see better after it is done and serious problems from surgery are rare. The surgery removes the lens of the eye, so it must be replaced. Glasses or contact lenses may be needed to see well after the operation. It consists of replacing the lens, which has become cloudy, with a clear artificial one. Several types of surgery are possible. Among them are phacoemulsification, which is the most common type of intervention. The doctor makes a small incision in the eye so that a special ultrasound tool can be used to break up the cloudy lens. The small pieces of lens are then removed and replaced with an artificial lens. Most people do not need stitches because the incision is so small. Extracapsular extraction is an alternative type of surgery. A larger incision is used to remove the lens in one piece, which is replaced with an artificial lens, and the cut is sutured. Finally, there is femtosecond laser-assisted cataract surgery, FLAX. It uses laser technology and replaces the natural lens with an artificial lens. Most of the time it is successful. However, as a precaution, one eye is usually operated on at a time. Both phacoemulsifican cataract surgery and femtosecond laser-assisted cataract surgery, FLAX, work almost equally well for treating cataracts in older people. Flax is more expensive, but may be a better option in some cases, such as when multifocal lenses are to be fitted. Of course, people who undergo surgery often not only have improved vision, but also improved mobility, autonomy, and freedom from the fear of becoming blind and dependent. Although the risk is low, cataract surgery carries the risk of partial or total vision loss if the surgery is unsuccessful or if there are complications. Some complications can be treated and reverse vision loss, but others cannot. But what complications are we talking about specifically? Well, there are some that can occur shortly after surgery, such as tearing of the lens, rupture of the posterior capsule, infection in the eye, endophthalmitis, swelling and fluid accumulation in the center of the nerve layer, cystoid macular edema, swelling of the clear covering of the eye, corneal edema, bleeding in the front of the eye, hyphema, or detachment of the nerve layer at the back of the eye, retinal detachment. After some time, other complications may appear, such as glare problems, opacity in the back of the lens remaining after the operation. This can be easily corrected with a laser.
Glaucoma, which is a disease characterized by increased intraocular pressure, hardening of the eyeball, and atrophy of the optic nerve, which can lead to blindness, retinal detachment, astigmatism, strabismus, or drooping of the upper eyelid, called ptosis. After this list, it is understandable that the idea of a cataract that is not removed usually slowly worsens, and with it, your eyesight. You may no longer be able to carry out your usual daily activities, or drive, especially at night. And you are more likely to fall and hurt yourself badly. But it can also make it more difficult for the doctor to check for other eye problems, such as those caused by diabetes. On the other hand, postponing surgery until the situation has become serious and cannot be postponed can complicate the surgery, as well as increase the associated risks. Not to mention that recovery is likely to be slower than if surgery had been performed earlier. It is more likely to be recommended by the doctor when poor vision makes it very difficult or impossible to live a life in accordance with the degree of independence one enjoys. To give an example, if you stop walking because you can't see well, and you are afraid of tripping, the operation also results in better control of other eye problems, such as retinal detachment. However, if you have glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy, or macular degeneration, surgery may not improve your vision. What to expect from the surgery? It will probably go on while you are awake, you may feel pressure, but you should not feel pain and you go home the same day, if there are no unforeseen events. And if you choose to wait, we will have to evaluate the evolution and how limiting the cataracts become in order to choose when to intervene, if necessary. Oh, and you will have to reckon with waiting lists, wherever you live. It is one thing to decide to have surgery, and another to have both eyes operated on. What are the benefits of having surgery? Basically, to recover from poor vision caused by cataracts, but also to correct problems of myopia, hyperopia, or astigmatism. What are the benefits of waiting? Well, to avoid the risks of the procedure. What are the risks and side effects of surgery? It is possible to have blurred vision immediately after the operation, but this will improve as the eye heals. You may also expect to have to resort to laser treatment a few months or years later if your vision becomes blurred again. Serious problems are rare, but include those mentioned above, tearing of the lens, infection of the eye, swelling in the center of the nerve layer, or in the cornea, bleeding from the front of the eye, or retinal detachment. And finally, glasses or contact lenses may still be needed after the operation. Waiting, on the other hand, also carries risks, your eyesight will continue to worsen, and the risks of the operation will increase. Difficult decision, isn't it? You have to be very careful. Anyway, I hope I have been helpful. If you liked it, please let me know, comment, share, subscribe, we are constantly looking for relevant and contrasted information for you, there is much more to come. Thank you very much, and see you next video.